Days after the Vikings quarterback took a major hit to the head, new research suggests there may be a new way to detect concussions. And it's as easy as a simple blood test. Researchers at Orlando Health found a blood test correctly identified traumatic brain injuries in 94% of the cases they studied. A quarter of a million kids are treated in hospitals for concussions each year. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield spoke with a male physician who's been testing this as well. So it hurts like right here and then I got need in the back like right here. Yeah, Thomas Adams' summer like run today. at the Schwann's USA Cup got interrupted by a concussion. It hurt <laughs> like like right after it did it when I was like on the ground I couldn't move for like the first like five seconds. This past Sunday Vikings QB Teddy Bridgewater joined the concussion club too. You essentially stun the nerves in your brain and so they temporarily aren't working. Dr. Jonathan Finoff specializes in sports medicine at Mayo. He says concussions can be tricky to spot on the sidelines or after. He says symptoms like headaches or memory loss are the best indicators to date, but they aren't foolproof. Neither are CT scans. It would be fantastic. I mean, if we could do a blood test and detect a concussion, um, then it would take a lot of the guesswork out of concussions because it would be a definitive test. He's working on research to do just that at Mayo. Don't get too excited about this blood test coming, say, next hockey season. Dr. Finoff says that this will likely take a while. Right now, he says blood tests only indicate severe injuries, not minor concussions. I think that it's really something that we would love to have so that we had a definitive way of diagnosing concussion that took all of the subjective nature out of our current diagnosis. But we're a ways away from that. A ways away, but a chance for a win. And Dr. Finoff told Susan Elizabeth his team is also looking at using helmets that have electrodes in them to read brain waves and then be able to detect the concussion from the sideline.